Hello and welcome to Marriott MBA Today. I am your host Shravya and today we have Professor Jeff Dodson with us. Professor Dodson is an associate professor from the Department of uh, Business Management and he's also the MBA Marketing Analytics Guru. Thank you so much for joining us, Professor Dodson. Thanks for having me here. Uh, so to start off, uh, could you tell us more about your family, your background, and how you fell in love with the numbers? Great. So um, we've been um, in, in Provo for about eight months now. Mm -hmm. We moved fairly recently. Um, I'm the father of four children. So I have three boys and a girl. Mm -hmm. uh, my son is, uh, my oldest son is 10. We've got a, an eight, a seven-year-old, almost eight-year-old, a four-year-old, and, and then a one-and-a-half-year-old. And we live just up the hill and um, kind of at the base of Y Mountain. Mm -hmm. And I've really enjoyed being in Provo so far. Um, so my background, um, I, I did my undergraduate work at Southern Utah University in economics. My, my family's ancestral home is Parowan and Cedar City, so mm -hmm. we were excited to be able to make the move back to, back to Utah. This is back, to, back, back home for us. Um, I have a, a master's degree in business administration from the University of Utah, and I've also did a master's degree in statistics at the, the U of U. And so um, after finishing the MBA, I took a job working in grocery, where I was working effectively as an applied statistician doing analysis of of secondary IRI and AC Nielsen data making demand forecasts and, and as part of that process really started to fall in love with analytics. Um, that led me to pursue the master's degree in statistics at the University of Utah and eventually led me to do a PhD. So I, I finished my PhD at, at The Ohio State University mm -hmm. in Columbus, Ohio where I studied quantitative marketing um, and was there for four years. Uh, I took my first job post, um, post PhD at Vanderbilt University um, in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, at the Owen Graduate School of Management. So I taught in the, the MBA program there for four years, where I taught courses in customer relationship management, uh, pricing strategies, which is the course I teach here, and then survey research. And really enjoyed my time here, but was, was very excited to have the chance to move to, to BYU. So why did you come back to BYU? Like, what made you move to BYU from Vanderbilt? It's a, a great question. It's a question I get asked a lot, and, and a question I think about a lot. Um, I, I love being at BYU. When I was on the, um, the job market, I had the opportunity to come out and interview for a position. I, I formally wasn't an interview. I guess we didn't have a position available at that point in time, but mm -hmm. I came out and went through, went through the interview process, had a chance to meet the faculty, to meet the students, to, to explore the campus, and was really impressed by my experience here. Um, and when the, when the job was actually opened up a few years later, um, my wife and I jumped at the opportunity to, to make the transition from Nashville back to Utah, and uh, we've loved being here since. Yeah, BYU is the best. Uh, so. I heard that you've been to a lot of conferences recently. Could you give our viewers a flavor of what you experienced there and what is it all about? Sure. So I attended a couple of conferences in the past week. Um, the first was the Adobe Analytics Summit, which was mm -hmm. held up in Salt Lake City. I was invited to participate in a, a panel discussion that was hosted by, um, by Ann Lunas, who is the CMO from Adobe. Mm -hmm. um, other panelists were the, the CEO from Razorfish, the, the chief digital officer from Audi, a uh, corporate recruiter that has done a lot of work on, on placing people in analytics positions. Mm -hmm. um, and the topic of conversation was reinventing the marketing organization. And we spent a lot of time talking about the, the evolution of marketing over the past, past decade or so. And so marketing historically has been a very qualitative subject, more mm -hmm. of a creative subject. Uh, with the advent of digital marketing, it's become much more, more quantitative in nature. Mm -hmm. And so we had a lot of conversations about the direction that marketing is headed and then what it takes for students to students and, and existing marketing professionals to really reinvent themselves in, in the era of, of big data and marketing analytics. Great conversation. And then I had a chance just the, a couple days later to fly out to Boston to attend a conference. Um, it was the Informs Analytics Conference. It's a conference that, that's hosted every year that focuses on, on analytics issues and had a chance to listen to some fantastic speakers talking about these, these same issues, right? So the quantitative side of marketing and, and business. Mm -hmm. So marketing is more and more data driven nowadays. I would like to know more about that from you. Sure. Um, so I, I think marketing has been data driven for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but there are a few changes that have occurred in the past few years that are really accelerating that transition. Um, and so my, my, my perspective is biased. As a quantitative marketer, <laughs> I want to see you know, things become more, more quantitatively driven. Um, but this, this is a trend that's being observed by more than, than just myself. Um, the, thing, the things that are changing are, are first and foremost, um, the advent of, of, say, big data. Right? Mm -hmm. So we're, we're accumulating data uh, at a faster rate than ever before. We have tons and tons of information, but we're we don't really know what to do with that information. So the, the expression that's used is that, that we're, we're drowning in data, but we're starving for knowledge. That's used quite frequently. Um, and it's absolutely true. We've got lots of information. We're trying to make sense of that information. Uh, the second thing that's, that's changed um, from my perspective is the development of really um, sophisticated but user-friendly software. 
So you, you don't have to have a PhD in statistics or computer science to do analysis of, analysis of data anymore. Um, this can be done by undergraduates or by, by, by MBAs. Um, we have software that, that's accessible um, that allows you to do really interesting, sophisticated work without having you know, a PhD in some kind of a quantitative discipline. And, and what I'm observing um, also in our MBA programs is that there's a, a transition of students. So when I was an MBA um, 10 years ago or so, uh, I, I had an, uh, a penchant for numbers, I had an interest in quantitative analysis, and so I studied finance. If you were a numbers person historically, you studied finance. What I'm seeing now is that, that those, those students that have that, that same interest in numbers, a lot of those students are gravitating into, into marketing because it is, is, it is so quantitatively oriented, especially on the, on the digital side. Yeah, that's so true. And drowning in data, but starving for knowledge, that is so true. So what do you think can be done in the MBA program for us? to help solve the problem, like more data, more knowledge, how can you make the transition? So I think a, a great first start was the marketing analytics course that we introduced this year for mm -hmm. our MBA students. We've had 30 students take the course, um, a phenomenal group of students. A lot of, a lot of students are going out into jobs in, in the tech industry, so heading to Amazon or heading to, to Adobe or, or eBay, other interesting places. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that we're going to start next year, and, and you're going to be involved with this, so you're aware of this, but um, is, a, is an immersive course, a uh, two-sequence course in, in marketing analytics. So this is going to be something very similar to what's being done with, with either Cougar Capital or the Silver Fund. So mm -hmm. we're going to take students that have an interest in marketing analytics. Um, I'm going to have them as students for a full year, and we're going to work on, on really dedicated immersive projects. Um, so so um, my belief is that, um, that real knowledge is accumulated through, through hands-on experience. So we can learn a lot of theory in the classroom, but until we actually apply that theory, it's difficult to really um, transform yourself as yeah. an individual, mm -hmm. to really develop the skills necessary to succeed in a data-driven organization. So this coming year, I'm, I'm in the process of putting together projects, but we're going to work with companies like, like Twitter, uh, companies like Adobe, to try to, try to build, um, uh, build something interesting. So it's not clear what we're going to do just yet, but we're going to be working on really immersive, dedicated projects. Um, that are going to allow us to, to sort of flex our quantitative muscles and see what we can what we can do. Yeah, I'm excited to be a part of that too. Uh, so, how will this help students build up their resume? Like, what kind of things will they be exposed to so that that will help them in their career as well? So, so first of all, we're gonna we're gonna work with a lot of companies. So, there's an opportunity to network with professionals in mm -hmm. this area to determine how how the market is evolving, what skills are required to succeed. Uh, secondly, we're going to work with a lot of really interesting software packages. So from a skills development perspective, you're going to walk away from the experience knowing how to use Bayesia Lab and, and IBM's SPSS Minor product and, and Sawtooth's Discover tool. So lots of software tools that are going to be beneficial uh, irrespective of the career path that you take moving forward. Um, so those, those are two of the big things. Yeah, that will be really useful, uh, especially moving, into, moving from school to uh, the actual um, world. So. What, as a marketing analytics guru of the MBA program, so what advice do you give to the students here on how they can improve their abilities to think analytically and to use marketing analytics to make decisions? So I would say develop as many of those skills as possible during the program, um, which means taking some of my classes, but there are other great <laughs> courses that are offered both within the Marriott School and outside the Marriott School that will help them develop those skills. Um, and then just embrace the notion that marketing is in flux. There's, there's a transition in marketing. It's, it's evolving as a discipline. Um, and, and what we learn today is not going to be relevant in five years. You've, you've got to embrace the fact that you have to be a lifetime learner um, and, and keep, keep on updating your skills. Uh, the great thing about that is that there are wonderful resources that are available um, through the internet that, that allow you to, to learn new topics, to, to learn new, new coding languages, to, to, to continue, continue to develop. Um, even after you finish your formal education at, at the university. Yeah, thanks to Google, everything is so easy nowadays. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with all of us, and I'm so glad that you came here to talk to us. Thank you so much for viewing, and have a great day.